Hi everyone, Karen from Makeup and Beauty Blog, and all I have to say is hot diggity dog. Yes, got Mac, the Mac Hot Dog Collection, which is available now online and coming soon to stores and counters August 20th through October 1st. Now, contrary to popular belief, we're not just Team Cat here at MBB, although the whole show is run by Tabs the Cat who's mewling in the background. Buddy, if you want attention, you gotta come over here. I'm, I can't pet you from here. Come here, Let's see if you can get him in the shot. But anyway, okay, back to this collection. It is available now online and coming to stores August 20th and will be available until October 1st. Now this one is a pretty big collection. There's 31 items. There are five lipsticks, four glosses, two lip pencils, three quads, four fluid lines, two brow liners, two mineralized skin finishes, four sculpting and shaping powders, three nail polishes, and four brushes. Mix of um, repromotes and new items, and I have 13 here to share with you. So this collection is all about the mineralized formula. There's mineralized lipsticks, mineralized eyeshadows, mineralized glasses, and um, mineralized skin finishes. And the thing with the mineralized family is that there's these like, there's, a, there's 77 minerals in all of these products. And granted, I'm not exactly sure what that means. I do know that seems like a lot of minerals. Uh, for the powders, the unique thing is that, you know, if you've got the dome shape that you typically see for baked items, and they're different from Max regular powders in that they're not pressed into pans. The products are poured into these molded round terracotta tiles and then they're baked for 24 hours. And the reason why they do this is to create this finish that's sheer and a light application. So in terms of the three eyeshadow quads, I, what this means is that when you apply them dry, you'll have low to medium coverage with a very shimmery finish. And when you apply them wet, you'll have more intense color coverage. So, and I think this is why these tend to be a little controversial. I've noticed that on the MAC website, the mineralized quads don't get great reviews. And I think that's because there's a certain expectation with MAC eyeshadows. I think that a lot of MAC fans and people coming to the line expect that the intensity of the pigments will be so rich and you know, you know people want like or expect that brightness, that boldness when it comes to the powder products. And with these, there's more for sheer looks. So if you're wanting like super bold bam, you can get there with these, but you're just gonna have to do a lot of layering and you're gonna have to apply them wet. So generally these are better for sheer eye looks. So we've got here three of the three eye quads. There's pure bread, which is a plum silver cream, tan gold and a deep brown. Then the second one is a glimmer of gold. And that is just a mix of different kinds of golds, soft gold and coppery bronzes. And the third one is Posh Pedigree. It's got a deep olive green, a lemony white gray, and a charcoal greenish gray. And each quad is $46. And here are the swatches. This one is pure bread right across here. And then this second, layer here is layer. The second um, section here is a glimmer of gold. And then this one at the bottom is Posh Pedigree. So my take on these eyeshadows is they're, they're okay on their own. I mean, they're, on one end, they're very shimmery and I have to layer them a lot in order to build them up and really see them on my lids. And sometimes the shimmer isn't always very forgiving on fine lines, but on the other hand, I think that these blend beautifully and they have a really long wear time. For me, I get between like 10 and 12 hours. Yes, I've worn makeup for that long amount of time. <laughs> Sometimes I have really long days. I, you know, they're okay. I think that they are better with a pigmented base underneath, like one of the MAC paint pots um, or the MAC paints, oh, which are awesome. I don't know why pe more people don't talk about the paints. So the ones in the little tubes, total unsung heroes. But I think that when you do like a more pigmented base underneath, like a paint pot or a paint, it intensifies whatever you layer on top. So these become much more rich, uh, much more interesting, and you'll have to layer less. And um, you can even do them dry and they'll appear more intense. 
I'm wearing MAC Paint Pot and Constructivist, which is my jam at the moment, with this quad here, the purebred quad. And I, I kind of like how it turned out, this sort of like smoky brown, um, daytime friendly sort of look. So, oh, alternatively, you could also use a fluid line as a base. In this collection, there's four of them. They're $16.50 each. Here's one of them. This is Catch My Eye. And it's kind of like this silvery color. And it's got little sparkles in it, which I think are pretty... It's very cute. So, in addition to the eye stuff, sorry, I've got like cat hair all over me and I keep, I have at least one mystery cat hair because right before I turned the camera on, Tabs was like right, right here on my lap and he was like putting his face all over mine and now I just, I've got that mystery cat hair and I can't seem to get rid of it. Anyways, back to the collection. So, this is a very lip heavy collection in that there's five lipsticks, there's five mineralized lipsticks, which are $23 each, and four mineralized glasses, which are so $23 each. Now, for the lipsticks, we've got Fashion Pack, Rare Breed. Sorry, these are hard to see. They're kind of on the sheer side. Barking, oh, there's a mystery cat hair right there. Barking Gorgeous. Nose for Style. And Labradorable, which for some reason I want to keep calling Labradoodle. I don't know why. And then for the glasses, we've got Lap Dog. Ooh sheer coincidence, modest, and dress to the canines. So with the lipsticks and lip glosses, there's a lot of peach, she pink nudes. So there's a lot of them. Like <laughs> at some point they kind of seem to blend into each other. They're very, very fine differences, but they're super subtle in terms of how they're different. And then there's like a sprinkling, just a sprinkling of wine and berry shades. Now these have the classic MAC Vanilla Taste and Scent. They're moisturizing, they're lightweight, and uh, the lipsticks have a medium level of shine. So do the lip glasses. I wanna call these lip glasses, they're mineralized glasses. The lipsticks feel a little bit like the MAC Lushers in that they're very lightweight. You can barely tell that you have them on. And the glasses kind of feel like the cream sheens. These I think are fun, especially for laying, layering. So if you like to mix and match your lipsticks and lip glosses, you could have a good time doing that. I did that with this lip here. I'm wearing Rare Breed lipstick and Modest Lip Gloss together. Let me see if I can find those so I could show you. And I think together it's like a really beautiful sort of peachy nude pink. So this collection totally reminds me of, well totally, kind of reminds me of Fabulous Felines from a few years ago. Remember that fall collection from a few years back? The one that all the cat ladies went crazy over. Um, yeah, it almost feels like a companion collection. Like this one's for like the dog people and Fabulous Felines is for the cat people. And you know, like I was saying earlier, I, okay, I do have this rep for being a cat lady, but also kind of a dog lady too. I grew up with a lot of dogs. I had um, two of them growing up. We had a black lab named Belle and he was very feisty. He was definitely my dad's dog, but he was super loving and so playful and so affectionate. He was affectionate and he was our dog during my high school years and when I went off to college. And then shortly before he passed, he was a good dog, I loved him a lot. We had, we got our dog Shauna and Shauna was amazing. Shauna was this like mutt, <laughs> she, was, she was like a strawberry blonde with a white stripe and floppy ears and she was the sweetest, sweetest girl. She, you could walk her and you didn't even need a leash. She would naturally walk next to you and heal and she was, she was such a good dog. She died a while back and I love her and I miss her and I actually have her as my screensaver on my phone. And so yeah, I, I, I'm an equal opportunity dog and cat lover. So, but I want to know if you are on team cat or team dog, you can tell me in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Mac Hot Dogs and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye.